The Philippines is now invading aerospace. And let me introduce you to the RV Light Sport aircraft. And it's a very handsome piece of invention. How exactly is the Philippines involved in this? And uh, do you have a vision for it, for the country? Okay. Aerospace industries involve anything that has to do with airplanes, mm -hmm. rocket ships, mm -hmm. anything that flies. Yes. It can be uh, unmanned vehicles or manned vehicles. Yes. In the case of the Philippines, we have started manufacturing different parts of the airplane. Mm. Oh yes, that's what the undersecretary was mentioning that. Yes. And the fact is, we have manufactured so many parts of this that to the point where we actually have one company that is assembling entire planes. Mm. And we've actually put uh, one of our exhibits, is one of the sample things, which has a detachable wing, so mm. that you can move it from hangar to hangar. But the nice thing about this particular plane, it's 100% made in the Philippines, in mm. terms of assembling all the parts and mm -hmm. so on. Like a Lego. Like a Lego. Mm -hmm. But there are there other models like this in any part of the world? Uh, this particular one, I think we have a good corner of the market. Mm, yes. Interesting. And uh, the way we see uh, this particular industry, we, we call it an emerging industry because it's not in the top 10 of DTI yet. Yeah. So we have uh, $300 million of the $4 billion uh, aerospace industry in Asia. Mm -hmm. Our target is to increase that number. And you know that this particular industry is a, has a potential growth of 3 to 6%. So. There's, there are backlogs of orders of various airplanes. Already? Like seven uh, years, eight years backlog. As we speak, at this as moment, we speak, yes. Yes, and so there's a very big opportunity for the Philippines. And the nice thing is that it will complement our electronics industry because you can have controllers mm -hmm. coming from the mm -hmm. industry and sensors and so mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. And also it will be good for our metals and engineering companies mm -hmm. because you can build planes with metals. So. Yes, and, and then uh, we, we are, in the end we will just be, we will be selling the finished product, yes. not just raw materials. exciting here in the agricultural section of the OST Science Nation and beside me is the famous red tilapia and as they say they promise that it's even more delicious than our regular tilapia there's so many new things here that uh, your eyes are wide open and you are totally in awe Philippines being largely an agricultural country, has the science nation impacted on this, on this sector? Well, um, our, our objective or our mission is to actually provide uh, uh, science and technology tools that will enable our agricultural sector to, uh, uh, to meet global standards. So, um, the only way that we can actually uh, bring wealth to the countryside and increase the income of uh, the farmers mm -hmm. is to make them more productive and put more value in the products that they raise. Mm -hmm. If I were a coconut farmer yes. or a mango farmer, uh, what particular developments or strides have the right. well, USD well, done, made, that can impact on my own business? The, the challenge is how do you increase productivity yeah. in the coconut sector? Yeah. So for example, let's start with a plant. Uh, our our coconut uh, the coconut tree right now averages only 14 nuts per year. Mm -hmm. There's got to be a way where we could actually increase those numbers. In India, for example, the their coconut the average uh, yield per coconut tree is around 120 nuts. How did they do right? that? So how did they do that? Without so we look uh, for using GMO. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, we we using genomics, for example, mm -hmm. we're now looking at improving the 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 either the planting material of uh, these coconuts uh, and uh, you looking for ways on how we can actually um, uh, uh, come up with the with, with all these planting materials in such in, 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 in the shortest time possible so that most of the farmers can actually now use these planting materials mm -hmm. We 
would you like to uh, share anything else with our televiewers? Well, um, we are we, we, we are here uh, promoting Science Nation. For me, a Science Nation is a is a nation that uh, believes in science, mm -hmm. that uses science, and that benefits from science. And as you said, the agricultural sector is one of the largest sector here in the country. We want them to use science. We want them to believe in it. We want them to use it and we want them to benefit from it. And with, as a science nation, I think we can uh, actually fulfill our vision of having a prosperous countryside and a prosperous farmer, uh, the families of, of farmers in the countryside in the very near future. Congratulations. Thank you.